Hey guys, welcome back to Kendi Beauty. So, ColourPop is here. ColourPop has been no joke lately. It seems like once they came around the corner with the Candyland collection, Wild Nothing, the Garden Variety, there was another one right before this one, which was like a Native American sort of a themed one, which I did get, why, why can't I think of the name of it? Anyway, there's too many collections, that's why I can't think of the name of the collection that I got, that I still don't have, <laughs> that hasn't shipped to me yet. So I purchased the Coral Collection, I purchased that, it's gonna drive me nuts. Hold on, what is the name of that? collection the one after the coral collection I can't find it but anyways I purchased those two they have still not arrived yet so yeah I was super excited about this new Halloween Hocus Pocus collection to come out I was really excited I'm still excited I love ColourPop for the holiday season I love their Halloween collections I've loved their holiday like you know collection the chasing the dreams the gold I've gotten them all I just think they're really nice usually they're really nice collections so I got really excited Wednesday came around was ready to pull the trigger and then what the heck happened ColourPop I mean I knew it was gonna be popular but I didn't think it was gonna be that popular because there's been a little bit of controversy or questioning about the palette, um, about some of the things in this collection. It looks similar to other shades. We're gonna get into that further on the video. But, so then that kind of gave me some time, got me thinking, Thursday rolled around. I was ready to still pull that trigger. I was really ready. I was gonna get the whole collection for you guys to do a review and wah, 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 I wasn't able to get it and I was mad it made me mad, it gave me FOMO, I was upset. Then some days went on, I heard through the rumorville that the Ulta stores might have it, which is interesting because I didn't see it anywhere posted that the collection would be available in the stores, so I started calling my local Ulta store. They said they weren't sure and I have to keep calling back, so I've called back day after day after day. That kind of gave me some time to sit back and take a look at this collection. And I'm just like, I started to kind of think, you know, do I really need this? The lip colors, I have those lip colors in ColourPop and other brands. The shadow palette looks very similar to their Disney Masquerade. Some other palettes that we'll get into later. And I was like, you know what? I don't think I'm going to get this collection. But then... I found out they were gonna have it in stores and I just decided, you know what, everybody's kind of talking about this, there's a lot of buzz, I'm gonna get it, I'm gonna do a review for you guys and I didn't get this because I needed it, although I was really excited about the Disney and the Halloween and the Hocus Pocus, that's the only reason why I got it. I don't, I didn't purchase this because I needed it in my collection. There isn't anything that I don't have and there's nothing really when you take a look at the palette and everything aside from the Hocus Pocus packaging and the theme of the collection that really is like run out and get but I did I ran out there I worked hard for you guys I burned the midnight fuel and I stood in line at my Ulta stood in line I've never had to stand in line at Ulta before literally for a half an hour I could not believe it by the time I got to the register Oh my goodness so now here we are it is late I'm trying to get this up for you guys yes I already posted videos today I'm just trying to get this up I want to take a look and see like okay do we really need another ColourPop collection I already know the answer to that is no but I do want to take a look at the quality of this collection you know the marketing the packaging the quality the shades of the palette and see like do we really need this? Do we really need this? Do we really need ColourPop to come out with this? Besides the fact that it's stinking adorable and cute and it's Hocus Pocus and I don't know about you guys but Hocus Pocus was like my favorite Halloween movie growing up but can I just tell you I was the biggest baby like that movie scared me. So there would be certain parts that I wouldn't watch even though it was my favorite Halloween movie. I loved Sarah Jessica Parker. She was like amazing and Bette Midler was one of my favorite actresses from back in the day 
Uh, so, long story short, I was a sucker for the theme of the collection and I went and got it and I figured it would be a good video to share with you guys. Alright, also, if you guys are new here, make sure you are subscribed to my channel, tap the bell, so you can be notified of all of the upcoming videos. I'm hoping that I'm in focus today. The giveaway is this beautiful Hocus Pocus palette. And I don't know about you guys, but if you know anything about this collection, it is hard to come by. So make sure you watch the whole video. Like and publicly subscribe. I'm going to leave all the rules for the giveaway at the end of the video. So make sure you watch the video till the end and stay tuned for that. And one lucky one of you Kindy Beauty Bees will get this beautiful Hocus Pocus palette. All right, let's get on to this collection. Okay, so first up we have the, let's see, the Gather Round Sister Shadow Palette for $22. There are 15 pans in this palette. So that equates to about $1.50, $1.46 per pan. Extremely affordable, as usually ColourPop is. And it says, the cauldron is ready for this 15 pan eyeshadow palette featuring devilishly glam metallics, sparkly pressed glitter, and rich spooky mattes. Create your own bewitching look with this rich jewel toned palette. Um, this item is limited edition and it's a collaboration with D Disney. I think it looks really nice. The pans are a little bit smaller than I was thinking they would be, uh, but the packaging is just so gorgeous. Okay, next up in this collection, which by the way, the collection as a whole, if you were lucky enough to get it, was 130. We have Lashes in Boss Witch. Again, just look at this packaging. We have the Flirty Witch Lashes, which these are my favorite. I was so glad they were not out of stock on these. And then we have the Clever Witch. Now, you guys know that I'm really like big into lashes, so I will probably like double up on these or something to get them to be that Baba Voom that I like. I kind of thought that they were gonna do more with the lashes. These are very bare minimum lashes for this collection, especially being that it's Hocus Pocus and the witches. Like I really was kind of thinking they were gonna like have something a little bit more just out there or voluminous or just, I don't know. These are just very run of the mill everyday lashes in my opinion. They do retail for $9 each and yeah, the packaging is just gorgeous. In addition to lashes, we have three cream gel liners. Let's see. Uh, I got the Trick or Treat, the Deep Violet Liner. There's the Sisters Liner, which is a bright copper red, and a black flame candle liner, which is an emerald green. I My Alta was out of the orange one, so I was only able to pick up those two, but those were the two I wanted anyways, so I was happy about that. And the liners retailed for... $8 again very affordable. I really like the shades on these liners. I haven't been excited about ColourPop shade liners, liner shades in a while so I was really excited when I saw the liners and that was also another reason I wanted to get the collection and I love it when ColourPop includes the Glitterly Obsessed, the glitter gels. We have another Glorious Morning and a Muck, a Muck, a Muck, a Muck glitter gel, which is a purple glitter with multicolored blue and silver pinpoints. And the another Glorious Morning is a warm pale yellow gold. And those retailed for $9 each. I do really like the quality of those, at least in past collections. And then last but not least, we have our lip kits. And I was only able to get these two, which are the I Put a Spell on You and I Smell Children. And again, these look really pretty, but I was really hoping for like a pink or a mauve or a nude. I was kind of upset at the lipstick duo shades that they included. I just wanted more versatility. Uh, but anyway, they look really cute and I have to tell you guys that I just recently ordered this shirt on Amazon. I will put it up above. It's the best shirt ever. I Smell Children. It's based on the movie. There's a bunch of shirts like that online and I wanted to order it so that I would have it for the collection. But then when I didn't get the collection, I didn't order the t-shirt. And then by the time I did get the collection, it was going to be like, what's going on with Prime these days? I used to get stuff with Prime like in two to three days. It's taking me like two to three weeks now to get stuff. 
So anyway, I do have it coming. Hopefully it'll get to me before Halloween because it's so cute. All right, now on to our swatches. Moving on now to our first set of swatches. We have the cream gel liners and the glitterly obsessed glitter gels. Okay, and now on to the I Smell Children Lip Duo. And like I said, I'm just really kind of disappointed in these lip duos. Like, there's no... They're basically the same exact shade. And this is the Lip Duo I Put Spell on You. Again, very similar. This is a little bit more of an orange undertone, and the other one was more of a ruby red undertone. Moving on to the palette, we have the first furrow in the palette called Full Moon, Hello Salem, Brew Potion, On Toast, and Coven. Now on to the second row in the palette. We have Come Little Children, Tis Firm, Thackeray Binks, Yabos, I Call It a Bus. All right, now on to our last row. We have Wench, Night of Frolic, Dead Man's Toe, Bewitched, and Goodbye Cruel World. All right, you guys, now that we're done with swatches, now on to creating our look. Okay, so I did prime my eyes with the P. Louise Base number zero, and I'm gonna go in with this Morphe brush, and I don't know what to do. <sighs> There's not very many regular matte shades. So I guess I'm going to go in with this olive green shade called Bewitched. We're going to go in with that first. Okay, wow. This was not showing up like when I was swatching it very well. But on the lid it's it's really coming. It's really coming to the party. It's definitely showing up. Okay, well, that is definitely a pleasant surprise because I was a little worried when I swatched these. So now with that same Morphe brush, I'm going in with Dead Man's Cove, sort of magenta, purplish shade. And I'm just connecting that. I don't want to blend it very much because it could get muddy fast. It's actually already starting to get a little bit muddy. Okay, now with my Sephora Pro detailing number 41, I'm just gonna try to blend out the tops of the edges ever so slightly. Okay, now for on the lid, what am I gonna do? I'm gonna go in with the shimmer shade called Yabos. Or not shimmer, it's a metallic shade. <laughs> and I'm going to Okay, and now on the inner corner I'm gonna go with Tis Firm. And you know what? Because I'm liking that shade so much, I think I'm gonna go. Yeah, I'm going to go on the outside with that as well. That is super pretty. I'm not mad at these metallic shades in this palette at all, you guys. Yeah, that is really pretty. And then I think like right on the inside of Tis Firm, I'm going to go in with Thackerberry Binks, the other metallic shade. Why not? Should we try one of these glitter mats? I remember these glitter mats in some another one of their palettes or collections. I wasn't a fan. I do need some depth though. And the only two deep shades I see is like the Night of Frolic and then I call it a bus, but I call it a bus is a really glittery, like really glittery. Uh, I guess I'm just going to go for it. All right, I'm going in with I call it a bus on the outer corner edge. Uh, so much glitter. Okay, now I'm going in with this glitter gel in another glorious morning. 
and I'm just gonna go on top of that olive green shade should I use my finger I don't know it's been so long since I've actually like tried to use I'm trying to think of the last time that any of my collections I think it's been a while since I've gotten oh wow that is so pretty a collection with a glitterly gel because usually with ColourPop I, I just I'll get the collections I don't really review things independently um, I really like the way that that looks that is so cute alright so now for underneath of my eye I kind of hesitate to even do anything but I am gonna go back in with that sort of fuchsia purple shade called dead man's toe oh boy and there is a lot of fallout there <laughs> now I'm kind of wishing I didn't put that I call it a bus glitter shade there because it's definitely not you know that's like not a good area I should have known better because that's a very sensitive area that I have on my skin for my eyes so putting a glitter there is not gonna be the best idea I don't know what I was thinking um, okay so you know what I'm gonna do now actually is I am gonna use the other glitter guys should have known better you should have known better so I'm gonna go in with the a muck a muck a muck a muck it's like a muck five times in a row shade <clears throat> the other weird really weird thing really weird I feel weird even confessing this but I'm gonna confess is that I like the way that these glitter gels smell like I love it I don't know why I don't even like fragrance usually it bothers me but all right oh my goodness let's let's wish us luck all right so I'm going in with the muck muck shade all right you guys so that is it for our eye look Oh my goodness, and I always do this. I always do this with collections, you guys. I forgot to add the cream gel liner. So we're going to go, and I really should have done this uh, before the glitter. That is definitely for sure. Hmm, it's not really showing up that well. All right, let me try it on my upper lash line. Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm not a huge fan of that liner, but yeah, so I'm not that impressed with the liner. All right, well, at least we tried it. So now I'm going to clean everything up. I'm going to do the other side. I'm going to clean up my foundation, put some lashes on, put the lashes on, and I'll throw on the, not I smell children, but the I put a spell on you lippy and we will be back for our final thoughts on this collection all right you guys so i put the spell on you lip duo i topped off some lashes and i did put uh that one sort of light shimmer shade on the inner corner at the last minute i decided to do that i i don't like this lipstick although it looks very like kind of halloween i love the way this look came out i love the way this came out I want to do something with my lips though really quickly before we get into our final thoughts and I'm really like debating I think I'm gonna use the glitter on my lips why not and I know that glitter on the lips is totally crazy but that kind of brings me to my final thoughts on this collection. I just think that this collection is so fun. The main, you know, big appeal in my eyes, like the the thing that I loved the most about this collection was the glitterly gels. I forgot how much I love these. And these shades are stunning. They do get everywhere though, everywhere else on your face that you don't want them to be. But I just think this collection is so much fun. I was very disappointed in the lip duos. I would have liked to see more versatility with the colors. I just, all red shades was just a little too blah, like not laissez-faire because it's red, it's bold, but 
I just would have liked to see like a magenta or like a bright pink something a little bit more kind of crazy the lashes I, I didn't even end up using the lashes because they were just so I tried to use them just like no with this look I need something like more so I just use my regular lashes I didn't use their lashes so the lashes the liners and the lips were definitely a pass like I did not like the way the gel liner you know really applied it barely showed up in the waterline it it was just kind of smeary all over the place it didn't stay put you couldn't notice it was there the stars of this collection are the gels and then I'd have to say the palette when we look at the palette in detail I am not a fan of they came out with the palette in um, with these same formulas in the holiday collection they did last year the glitter is gold and they did those and I think since then they've also done those mattes with the glitters I don't like mattes with the glitters I know that a lot of people love them and it's a new thing it's a new fad with eyeshadow palettes but for me I'd rather just have glitters or mattes or metallics or shimmers I don't like these like hybrid sort of matte glitters especially when you're using like a matte for the crease shade the glitter is irritating to blend out on the lid I don't know I just I'm not a fan of them like I said I'm sure a lot of young people and a lot of people do like the glitter mattes I just don't and there were a lot of glitter matte shades in this palette the other thing a lot of people wanted to take a look at um, just really quickly was the way that this palette compared with the lunar beauty palette I'm totally regretting putting the glitter on my lips now by the way and you know at a first glance the packaging yes I would have to say this is rose gold though and this is just like regular you know gold gold both beautiful packaging the moon spell is definitely a more luxe bigger palette the pans are bigger and you know that brings me to my critique on this palette although I do like the palette a lot and it's definitely like the highlight of the collection besides the glitter gels I would have liked to see a bigger pan size. I thought that this palette was going to be bigger. It's not a less, you know, it's not on the cheaper end of ColourPop's palettes. It's definitely kind of higher, $22. So for it to be this size and the pans to be this size was a little bit disappointing. Like the Disney Masquerade palette was definitely bigger pan sizes and a bigger palette. I don't have that palette anymore. I got rid of it. But a lot of people said that this reminded me reminded them of that I don't think so I I don't think so I don't think the shades are the same and then a lot of people also were saying that the moon spell palette was similar in shades and I really can't see any shades that are the same like we could sh we could swatch really quickly the shimmer we'll swatch the Backleberry Binks with the let's see Phoebe shade but you they're completely different um, and really no other shades in this palette you know I think are the same like even the khaki in this one is more of a teal khaki and this is a more of an olive deep green khaki um, the golds we could compare the glitter golds but they're pretty different too. Like this is the moon spell, and then this is the color pop. The moon spell is way more yellow and goldish, and this is kind of more of a bronze gold. And those are the only shades that I can think of that really are the same. Even the the transition shades like Winifred in the moon spell and On Toast in the color pop, completely different. On Toast is a darker sort of transition shade, and Winifred is more of a lighter shade um so yeah i don't see any similarities with the moon spell palette i mean we can take a look again there are some shades that are similar like i said winifred and on toast but again winifred is definitely lighter than on toast you can't tell on camera but in person you can tell and i do think like the metallics in the moon spell palette are a little bit smoother I do think that ColourPop did a great job on the metallics in this palette some of the matte formulas were a little bit 
hit and miss. They performed well on the lid, but swatching them on the hand, I wasn't impressed with. Like I said, I don't like the matte glitter shades. They're beautiful colors, and this color story is, is beautiful. In person, it's beautiful. Online, it looked a little bit muted, but in person, it's really nice. Overall, I don't think that this palette is a dupe or you can I, I don't have anything in my collection I can't even think of anything except for maybe that Sydney Grace Autumn Rain palette that I don't have but still they don't have glitter mattes in there so I really don't think that any other palette really replicates this palette at all long story short oh and that's right the giveaway so typical of my giveaways you guys need to leave three comments down below like this video watch it the whole way through make sure you are publicly subscribed to my channel um this giveaway could last a few weeks just so you know because this is such a hot popular collection um i will post the winner in the comment section i will contact you guys for your address so three comments give this video a thumbs up make sure you're publicly subscribed to my channel and then share this video with a friend another social media platform Instagram Twitter Facebook share this video three comments thumbs up and publicly subscribed and you guys will get a lovely hocus pocus palette I don't know if they're gonna restock this it'll be interesting to find out what Colourpop's plans are I'm glad that this did come out it could have even come out a little bit earlier for me because I got some other Halloween stuff before I knew about this, but I do think it's perfect timing. It's better than right before Halloween and I'm loving it. I think it's a fun collection. I'm glad I got it. I'm glad that ColourPop came out with another collection after all, you know, and I think there's items that you could pick and choose you know you don't need the whole collection but I think the palette and the gels are definitely a must and I'm so glad I have them now in my collection all right you guys thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video bye bye